Hello, my name is Sanaya Arani, and I'm the Director of Operations for Doctors of Tomorrow at the University of Michigan. Today, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the virtual programming for a medical pipeline model. Some background. Over 13% of the U.S. population identifies as Black, yet only 7% of the U.S. medical school matriculants are Black. The past decade has seen a decline in this number. The benefits of a diverse medical workforce are well documented, including more robust and equitable medical training and improved outcomes for patients from underrepresented backgrounds. The COVID-19 pandemic has disproportionately impacted access to education in low income and marginalized communities. Doctors of Tomorrow was created to increase diversity among medical students and physicians by inspiring and enabling underrepresented youth to pursue careers in medicine. We are a partnership between Cast Tech High School and Michigan Medicine. And this year we have been able to expand to Marygrove High School as well due to our virtual programming. We have three tracks, Foundations Rising and Succeed. And with the recent switch, we have switched to a fully virtual programming due to COVID-19. Our program consists of our ninth and 10th grade program, Foundations, our 11th and 12th grade program, Rising, and then our undergraduate program, Succeed. And they also come with mentorship tracks. Now onto our outcomes, a virtual program overview. Our foundations program, as mentioned, is our ninth and 10th grade students. And this year with the implementation of a virtual programming, we have been able to incorporate organ-based online modules, as you can see below. These are some examples of today, this year's programming. And we also were able to survey our students through the virtual programming and incorporate new modules, such as a path to college and medical school. We expanded the number of incoming students by over 100% this year and accepted our largest ever class size of 76 new students. Our total foundations programming this year was 111 students for 2020 and 2021. These are some images from this year's foundation programming. And based off student responses, students have greatly benefited and gained knowledge about the path to becoming a physician through our foundations programming. These are some quotes from what our students have learned this year. Our Doctors of Tomorrow Rising programming is our 11th and 12th graders. And this year through the virtual programming, we were able to have a virtual essay editing program where students are paired with previous mentors and helped to create their essays for college applications. Students were also helped to complete the FAFSA, pro FAFSA financial aid programming. And this year, there were medical specialty exposure series where students met with different specialties from different programs. We also had a very new program this year called the Diversity in Medicine, Representation Matters, where we featured Dr. Randy Vince and Dr. Danelle Daly, who spoke about their BIPOC, BIPOC representation in medicine and their experiences. These are some images from, from past and present DOT Rising programming. Our rising students also completed capstone projects this year, and they were sorted into six groups with six to seven uh, individuals per team. Project topics included medical racism, mental health, and racism in medicine, and students met monthly to discuss progress and obstacles. They also learned skills such as public speaking and advocacy skills. And students this year, which this is something very novel, they are working with the state representatives in Lansing to demonstrate um, the impact of their voices and efforts. Our DOT 6C program is our undergraduate program. And we have this, this program has pillars of mentorship, healthcare exposure, and support and networking. This year, we offered many new scholarships to our students, including a COVID-19 relief fund. We also formed new partnerships with the BMA and LANAMA at the University of Michigan Medical School. Students had monthly check-ins and were also supported in graduate school prep. Our mentorship program this year incorporated mentorship pods, which is new in the virtual curriculum. The pods consisted of students from all three of our tracks, Foundations Rising and Succeed, as well as physician mentors and first year medical student mentors. This allowed continuity of mentorship and allowed students from learn, to learn from each other as well as their peers. These are some quotes from our mentees and mentors. Many mentors have also learned from our programming and have said that they love hearing the ideas for, from our students and working with them on their capstone projects. Overall, this year, through our virtual programming, students have become much more familiar with the path to becoming a physician as evidenced by their responses. 
Some conclusions. It has been difficult to maintain program attendance with the virtual programming. However, the programming has been more flexible this year and has reached twice as many students as in past years. We are hoping as next steps to perform a virtual program evaluation, create a virtual to toolkit to guide new chapters that would like to start virtually, and enhance virtual programming for inclusion in a hybrid model, which may remain as a part of our program for the next several years. We would like to acknowledge Dr. Jonathan Finks and Dr. Gurjeet Sandhu, as well as some of our other partners at CAS Tech and in the community. Thank you so much, and please reach out if you have any questions.